What's up guys, it's Keith Kelfis with the landscapingemployeetrap.com. I'm gonna take you into my business right now. Um, live today, right now on a job site. Client's not home so I can walk around with the video camera and show you that I don't have $50,000 trucks and tr shiny trailers. I'm a guy three years ago who was absolutely flat broke with nothing about to get evicted from my place. And I still have money problems even though I've quadrupled my income. It's just, um, a different level now when you're licensed and insured and you got taxes and all types of maintenance and overhead employees to pay it's uh it's stressful i mean look at my eyes i, I slept three hours last night so all right we're planting a million flowers here this old 2001 dakota truck if you can see it probably a I don't know, 2,500, three grand. I hunted on Craigslist morning, noon, and night, and I got this thing for $1,300. And I found someone on Craigslist to put these janky magnetic signs so people can see my name. I've got t-shirts printed, 17 bucks a piece. I built this box on the back because I can't afford a $10,000 dump truck, so I built a box on the back. A lot of birds in the background tool racks, everything, everything I need to do. The box cost me a couple hundred bucks. It's flowers from the nursery we're gonna plant. I mean, look, this thing's rusted out, falling apart. Instead of a dump truck, what we do is we load this thing up with thousands of pounds of logs and debris, and then we go to the dump and we tie a rope at the dump and we yank it all out and it just destroys my truck. This trailer would probably be 2,500, 3,500. I found this thing on Craigslist again. I talked the guy down to 750 bucks for this enclosed trailer. I have a whole nother truck and trailer now. I got an F-150 and a 14 foot trailer. So two trucks, two trailers. The F-150 is actually pretty nice. That truck is uh, probably 4,000 bucks. I talked the guy down and found it on Craigslist for $1,300. And my, my big 14 by seven trailer, it's not big, but it's bigger compared to this thing, is a thousand bucks. I got it in the middle of the winter. And I'm talking, Working your guts out seven days a week, 24-7, 365, practically eating Raymond noodles to reinvest every penny you make back into your business. Every time you make a little bit more money, you reinvest it back in your business. You save it because my philosophy is, here, let me go behind the garage. <laughs> We're planting flowers all here today. All right, my philosophy is if there's ever a time because I come from absolutely nothing. I've lost my license back when I was younger, and I've taken buses. We <laughs> we grew up, I'm, I'm talking about an excuse of my past. I'm just saying, if I ever get to a point in my life where I, I, I have nothing and I'm down in a gutter, I'll think, oh, you didn't want to work that Sunday, did you? You didn't want to work that holiday. You didn't want to work till midnight. You didn't want to get up at 6 a.m. There are literally no excuses. So there's two types of motivation. There's incentive motivation and there's fear motivation. Incentive motivation is what are you running to? Fear motivation is what are you running from? A lot of my motivation is fear motivation. I am terrified to circle the drain. And every day that keeps me running, running for my life. And the good thing is that's what keeps me going. That's what grew my business because I, I don't have the willpower to work 95 hours a week. It's the fear that makes my ass get up and do it. For instance, like I said, I slept three hours last night. <laughs> I woke up this morning, I was like in a daze. I couldn't even, I'm like, oh my God, I can't work today. No, nope, fuck that, go to work. I don't care what you gotta do, you strap on your work boots and you go out there and do it. If you don't have a business off the ground now, go print up some flyers, pass them out, go bang on doors. I can go in any subdivision, unless, you know, people that are at least middle class, I can go knock on doors and I guarantee you I will get a customer outside of their house, walk them around their property, a complete stranger, shake their hand, give them a business card and sell them a job right there on the spot for 500 to a grand, 1500. I've done it time and time again. It's the amount of certainty in your tone of voice, in your belief, when you're so certain that that person sees that you can provide value for them, they're going to come out of their house and they're going to... I've done jobs right there on the spot when we had no work. And that's how you build a clientele. So, anyways, there's no excuses. Go out and get it done. If a guy like me who is not that smart can do it, you can do it. All right, bye.